will make the smart choices in this draft. Catch it next, brought to you by Smart, the official tournament telco partner of the MPL. Free to game great with Smart. Free games for all. all Pasok right. na tayo dito sa draft. Benedetta agad ang unang ban ng Aura BH. Da, mahirap talaga alaban yung Benedetta kanina. Your As team in, is banning. pa siya buong game. Hindi, di ba? Eh. It was just how you play it. Especially sa player na tulad ni Carl TZ na napaka taas nung mechanics niya. Yung skill cap nung kamay niya. Yung galaw ng kamay niya talaga napakabilis. Dahil nga din because of his young age. God hands. Uh -oh. Wow, ayos ah. Uh, it really is very warranted. Now, that's also a reason kung bakit, alam mo yung kung bakit sobrang successful niya sa mga hero tulad ng Lancelot is dahil nga doon. Yeah, and high mechanical ceiling on a talented player Your like Carl is, is something that we would want to see almost every game dahil yep. dito natin makikita kung gano ba matetest ang limits ng isang hero. Dahil when we talk about mechanical ceiling of heroes, doon natin marireview yung kumbaga yung limits dahil minsan magugulat oh. ka pwede pala yun nagagawa pala yung ganun at nakikita mo yun galing sa mga talentadong player na katulad ni Carl TZ pero pasok ulit tayo dito sa ating mga sunod na bands from Aura PH yes. looks like it's gonna be the Paquito for their second ban meanwhile for Bren Esports they're taking out the Natalia plus the Yisun Shin gusto ko yung tanggal, pagtanggal si Yisun Shin kasi comfort pick din yan sa mga comfort pick from before ni JP uh, Lord Hades can play this hero as well very well mm. so I understand this, and again, control da din yon yung vision. Tanggal vision, it's ganyan talaga maglaro ang Brenny Sports. And, and vision is very important in this game. Knowing where your enemy is, and knowing where to strike, and knowing the timing is always key to a your good victory. And for Brenny Sports, as you said, playing around vision already scored them a world championship. And not just a world championship, but natin kalimutan, medyo nasasapawan, also a national championship from last champion. season. Exactly. Now that Order PH is done banning their first three heroes here with Selena as their last ban, they're gonna have to look at, I think Order PH still has the priority pick this time around. Yep. Game one, it was Brenny Sports. Now Order PH, meron na silang chance na kumuha ng isang power pick that could score them a victory in game two. Again, we're still looking for Silvana kasi isa dito sa mga hero na pag nakuha talaga ng Brenny Sports, ang ganda ng performance for uh -huh. most part. Uh, kahit, matalo, kahit sa mga games na natalo sila, yeah. the Silvana actually does perform very well. Especially right now na mas may konting late game scaling na dinagdag kay Silvana kumpara dati. Mas naging viable siya for players tulad ni Flap Easy. Yeah. I'm sorry, ni Few. Yeah, and for Bren Esports, getting that Silvana in game one, hindi man natin nakita na sobrang impactful ng early game. Nakita natin na hindi siya nag fall off. Because usually the problem with Silvana na nakita natin from past few games, eh, pagdating ng late Ayan game, na. medyo tagahuli na lang talaga siya ng kalaban. Ayan and speaking nga. of the Silvana, <laughs> eto na, dumating na for Bren Esports in response of the jawhead of Aura BH. Again, Aura, maganda din naman yung ginagawa ni JP on the jawhead kanina. He was playing very well oh. in controlling the mid game. And, uh, same picks? Same rematch, picks rematch, rematch, rematch lang, rematch, rematch lang. Sige, may uh, ali, may rematch. alis, may alis na naman tayo dito. Most likely, mapupunta sa kamay ni Ribo. And tingnan natin kung ano ba yung magiging last two picks dito ng Aura PH. Dahil Aura PH, they need to draft carefully. Nakita natin kanina, nabanggit mo na rin, Rockheart, that they need to adjust their late game-centric draft for them to be able to match Beren Esports. In, na katulad na pinakita nila ng game 1 so Aura PH ano kaya ang magiging sunod nilang dalawang pick dito it's gonna be very important expect. dahil banning phase na naman after ng next pick ng Bren Esports expect mo magiging mas aggressive yung magiging pick nila ngayon and old school old school there you go aggressive yeah. maapoy may hit ito na mga the inferno and the searing torrents kung maga talagang maapoy-apoy sila dito si Johed din may apoy-apoy Aura fire dito. talaga no? Aura fire Aura talaga fire. Pero na-open si Brody. Medyo Ayun. delikado to. Okay, so madaming nagiging... Uh, madaming umaayaw kay Brody lately. Dahil nga sa mga changes sa kanya nung nakarang patch. Pero kung isipin mo, may bawas pa rin talaga eh. Oh. Lahat pa rin bawas eh. Yung defensive item uh, nerf lang yung nakita natin. Na medyo malaking bagay. Pero kung team ka tulad ng Brain Esports na kaya mo namang ga gamitan ng micro. Your yung, team ano, yung is banning. Pwede ka mag-risk, pwede ka mag-pick ng mga glass cannon heroes at kaya mo pa rin magwagi. So, good pick from Bren Esports dito. Yeah, and Bren Esports focusing on a range, or on, I guess, range once again. Brody, mm -hmm. 
Nabanggit mo na nga, glass cannon, which means malambot siya, pero napakasakit niya. And that range actually helps him to stay safe as well. And looking at Aura PH, I do think that they have the ability to enter that backline, especially with the thumbs and yep. the jaw head. And for Bren Esports, nasabi mo naman na, they just need to position well against those heroes because Aura PH, they already have the tools to enter the backline. Yes, mas maganda yung early game ngayon ng Aura PH. Your team ngayon, yung Bren is banning. Gets ko yung ban sa Roger kasi kung, kung mid game to early game ang focus mo, si Roger na pipi pipiliin mo. Sa late game hindi siya masyadong malakas, lalo pag napigilan yung farm, pero sa early game talaga, like and pounce, nakatakot. Oh, Maganda ba clean up? Yeah, clean up. Eh, buti na banggit mo yung clean up. Pag pumasok ang isang Roger ng saktong-sakto in a fight at eh, nakakuha agad siya ng first skill niya, mm -hmm. expect mo na tuloy-tuloy na yun. Pero, Brock, medyo confused ako dito. Ah. Bakit? Bakit nagkaroon ng diggy ban from Aura PH? Um, surprisingly, ito dapat yung mga hero na pinaban ng Bren Esports usually. Alam mo nakaraan, parang medyo may konting ban Your sila sa Your team is banning. Public na public naman ang Bren Esports na ayaw na ayaw nila sa Digi. Pero at oh. this, in this situation, siguro, hindi sila masyadong kabado. Kasi wala namang malaking uh, AOE, AOE crowd control yeah. itong Aura PH. So, yung Aura PH naman, baka kasi may ibang plano yung Bren. Sabi nga natin, di ba? Priority ng Bren, vision, di ba? Angal vision at kuha ng map control. Diggy can also do that with the bombs, di ba? Yeah. And nabanggit na map control and uh, map control. Ano yung isang nabanggit mo? Sorry, mate. Yon, and vision. Map control and vision. Oh. Map control and vision gives objectives as well for Bren Esports. And this is very important to take note because Bren Esports as a team, you said that they play with Your vision. They picking. play with map control. Wow. When you play with the waves, you get priority over these objectives. Kaya kanina nung game one, eh, nakita talaga natin ng Bren Esports taking turtle after turtle after turtle up to a point na lumamang sila na nakuha na rin nila ang buffs ng Aura PH. Tingnan natin kung mangyayari ba ulit yun in game two. Tapos na ang second banning phase natin with the Angela and Diggy being banned by Aura PH and yep. for Bren Esports they take away the Roger and the Ling. High level mind games ha? Uh, kasi yung Angela hindi mo na expect na magpababan pa yan eh. Oh. Kasi kung titira mo yung lineup nila, expect mo na si Rebo mag mag-aalis na agad. Pero sabi nila, pwede palang mag-switch si FlapTZ ng Alice, no? They have very talented Your players and aware ang Aura PH na kaya nilang gawin yun. So they ban out the Alice and as well, as the link comfort pick for JP, also usable by Lord Hades. Yeah, and Esmeralda will be the fourth pick for Bren Esports. Generally, a powerful pick against every lineup. Ito yung tipo na basta may kadikit, eh masakit. And ayaw mong madikitan ng isang Esmeralda. But sometimes, wala ka talagang choice. Especially if maganda ang pasok with the Star Moon ultimate. Yes, exactly. So, madikit, may masakit pag dumikit. Labo kang kakabit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the rhymes, okay. father. I so like the rhymes. That's, that's, that's Esmeralda. And yes, Falling Star Moon, very scary when used properly. Nakita natin yung kanina. In fairness, uh, nakita natin yung kanina. Maganda din yung laban ng Esmeralda. Again, that game one was not supposed to end that way. But it did. So we're up to Your game two. Nagsabay sila. Granger and Lunox. Ayan na. Ooh, aggression. Early game aggression pa lang with the Granger, with the Lunox. Granger danger for Aura PH. And sinabayan pa nga ng Lunox. Ito, gusto, gusto ko yung, yung scene na yun. Nakita natin, nag-appear-appear ang mga Aura PH. Ito na yung mental Confident. reset na sinasabi mo. Confident. Confidence. Oo, nakakalungkot yung nangyari ng Game 1. Oo, natalo tayo pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Best of 3 to. Subukan nating manalo in Game 2. And let's try to extend the series. But for Bren Esports, tignan natin kung ano ba ang magiging last pick nila. Dahil so far, so good naman ang kanilang mga picks. They have the range, they have the damage, and ah. they have the frontline ah. engage as well. At ito na yun, dinagdagan ng sustain. May mga pang bullet picks na ganito talaga yung Bren, you know? oh, nga. Rafaela, biglang papasok sa ganitong lineup. Who would have thought it? Pero there's a lot of magic damage all around. How does lahat yun magic damage? Except for the Brody. Ngayon, that's something that you can easily itemize against, but at the same time, sa early game, masakit ito. So, Pasakay na tayo sa early game and can the Brody scale ang tanong sa Bren Esports. Sa Aura naman, kaya-kaya nilang makahanap ng mga sitwasyon na paggagamit nila yung mga skills ng heroes nila to burst someone down because they have a lot of burst.
Yeah, and very situational yung burst na yun. They need to make sure that when they do play around those situations, eh, tama ang timing nila. Timing is key for Aura PH and kalaban nila ang oras dito dahil kailangan nilang manalo in Game 2 to extend the series and potentially go for the reverse sweep. But of course, MPL Philippines Season 7 is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Pasok na tayo dito sa Land of Dawn for Game 2 of Aura PH versus Bren Esports kung saan lamang na ng isang laro ang Bren Esports. Yes, early game with the Jawhead. Siyempre naman, bakit ka hindi manggugulo kung meron kang ejector sa labanan. So, Bren Esports, kuha pa rin nila yung well, purple buff. Oh, look at this. Greed. Medyo, sneaky, sneaky. medyo sneaky dito din si Greed. Ako dun ah. Alam mo yung feeling ko nag-long cut siya. Hindi siya short cut eh. Long, long cut. cut. Long oh, cut. Long Pumunta cut. siya dun. Nag-long cut siya. Manggugulo dito. Nanakot pa with the dash. Pero na-stand dito si Greed. Greed Reset. might be in trouble. Few. Spiral Strangling might be a kill. Pero hindi pala abot dito ang abilities ni Lusty. Kung medyo nakalapit si Lusty dun, feeling ko could have been a kill for Bren Esports. Pero hindi pa rin tapos. JP. JP. <laughs> hindi pa tapos. Gustong manggulo. And that's why you want a Joehead in your team. That's right, the Joehead, magandang early game reset. Pwede kang magulo, pwedeng guluhin yung timing mo sa jungle. Kasi sa jungle, jungle di ba may timing yan? Uh Oo, -oh, Kung sobra. kailan nag spawn yung, yung mga jungle camps, gusto mong patayin para maalaman mo yung timer. Well, Dito wait na. Lord Hades, flap cheesy though. Huh? A little bit too tanky little bit? with that Esmeralda. Pero ako yung, ako yung kinakabahan para kay Flap eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Sa to lang, Granger is actually medyo mababa, actually walang win rate, di ba? Wala pang napapanalong uh, game si Granger. Uh, una siyang ginamit sa Season 7 with Carl TZ, and yun yung sa Game 3 nila, and hindi din nag-succeed. So, I'm uh, sorry, Game 2, di ba? So, it was not a fun pick. Let's see if Aura can make it work. Kasi sa ibang region, ginagamit talaga ang Granger na. Di ba? May mga lineup na pwede ka mag-ranger. Ang tanong, isa kaya ito sa mga lineup na pwede mong gamitan nun? Yeah, and apart from the lineup, I feel like it's also based on the power spike ah, of tama, the said tama. lineup. Kung sabay-sabay bang lalabas ang power spike, kung kaya nyo bang patulan on certain occasions. And speaking of certain occasions, this just might be it. First turtle of the game, go contest dito. Both teams, Aura PH in a good position to take it down. But Kilowash here, hindi pa pasok ang Alice and Rebo is still fairly healthy. Pero babagsak na with a searing torrent. Beautiful play coming in from Duvalier. At tuloy-tuloy lang dito, babagsak na ang Silvana after the Tamus getting it. At pero ang Esmeralda may resback pala. 4v1 dito and that's the Esmeralda going down. Aura PH, beautiful play. The turtle plus three kills. Yep. Na pa, may mini audition na naganap and uh, I have to say na hindi maganda yung layering na ginawa ng pagpasok ng Brenny Sports doon sa laban na yun. and dahil doon again 3-1 agad and nakakuha na agad ng advantage Raptors na agad yung Granger yeah Ito pero it, falling star moon dito from Flap Cheesy pero hindi naman pala masyado masasaktan dito si Lord Hades pero going back to your point Rock that was a little bit too aggressive coming in from Bren. Hindi, me, hindi nila na asikaso kung paano mga pasok nila. As you said, holy baptism to locked in. Si JP, walang takas-takas with Imperial Justice. And that's one kill going to Bren Esports. Here you go, nabawi naman nila. And if you're Aura, huwag kang gagawa ng mga ganun pagkakamali. Kasi konting opening lang ibigay mo sa Bren Esports. Alam mong papasok at papasok yan. Yeah, so, gotta be careful. And speaking of being careful, Bren Esports, I feel like they're more careful now even if they won game one. And I gotta hand it to them, Aura PH, they seem not bothered at all from that loss in game one. Actually, mas mukha nga silang gigil ngayon, eh, di ba? Yung Aura talagang umaapoy ngayon in this game. And they have the heroes. Meron silang line para gawin to. Again, Granger on with Rhapsody, masakit na marksman kahit na early game. Gamit na gamit in this matchup. Yeah, pero tignan natin dito. Feed a little bit slowed down coming in from Lusty. Pero saktong bato lang pala yun. JP with a good save. Pero na-burn ng Vengeance Flame. Few! Hindi tatama ang Cometic Lance. That could have been a kill if tumama yung stun na yun. Again, also, you have to be aware. Yung timing ng Imperial Justice, is it active? 
right now, check nila ngayon Turtle. It's gonna be a big one dito. Yeah, Turtle already have HP, pero that's the ejector being burned already. Pero mas secure ng aura. Ang Turtle at may double kill pa para kay Granger. Nagkakaubusan na members ng Freddy Esports. Ito, Flap Tizzy, medyo makunat. Pero ha, patulan, iba pa to pabalik. That's the tower time, Flap Tizzy. Still alive, but that's the Turtle. Plus three kills. Once again, for Aura PH. Beautiful placement, no Rhapsody, at lang Dead Sonata. Nitong si Lord Hades. From down down, nakatakas na eh. Nahabol pa ng bala. And again, that's why you pick the Granger. And nakuha niya yung early game timing na gusto niya. Mahirap ng pigilan to. Yeah, and for Aura PH, this is the game that they want out of this Granger. As you said, there's a 2v1 na medyo brief na dito. Grabe, dami sa nagkakala ito kay Nature. One shot na lang. Flap, Daisy, gone! Underneath the turret, you did not respect Aura PH and you paid the price for it. Again, Rhapsody lang. Sapat na. Ganong kasakit yung Granger na to. Lalo ngayon with the early Raptors machete. Kasi tagos-tagos yung physical damage penetration ngayon ng Granger na to. So, Aside from that, also maganda yung ginagawang pag-ikot nila Kiluash at Great right on time. Hindi sila full commit. Saktong, saktong ano lang? Saktong dalaw lang. Saktong dalaw lang at kung anong kailangan, ayun lang ang ginagawa. Nakita natin doon, inuna nila yung Torre before they went down to burst the Esmeralda. Exactly. Gulat na gulat ang Papa mo Flap PZ doon. The damage was just too unreal. As you said, Rhapsody pa lang, sapat na. At mukhang magkakaroon ng labanan dito in the mid lane. Searing Torrent, hindi tatama. Pero may flicker in si JP, hindi tumama ang effect. Sayang! Pero mukhang wala munang kill na mapupunta. Pero hindi pala nag-ahabang ang tabos. That's the mega kill for Lord Aedes and Aura PH dominating the early game. Surprise mula sa aking kambal. Shoutout kay Kiluwa. <laughs> Very beautifully done. You don't see you don't see a Thams do that. Hindi ginagawa ng Thams yun. Assassin Thams. Assassin Thams. <laughs> Men, kulang na lang, Lothar. Pero legit, iba-iba talaga oh. ang Aura PH. So, Brandy Sports right now oh. will have to come back from this very hard. And speaking of coming back, Rebo tried to get that solo kill, pero medyo tinangkin niya yung Order of Brilliance dito. Oh. Galing sa Lunox. Hindi niya nirespeto yung damage. Bren Esports, I feel like it's already time to respect Aura PH. Yes, tama 21, na. 6, 16 na, tol. Medyo kailangan na natin mag-scale up. You need to take note of this Granger dahil talagang napakasakit na ng damage na ito. At hindi lang yun. Halos lahat ng members ng Aura PH ngayon sabay-sabay nag-power spike. Oh, lumalaki na yung ano, lumalaki na yung lamang. Huwag natin paabutin sa A94 difference. Oo, oh, sa A94, A94 difference, difference na yan. 13,999. Yan diba? ang magic number yan magic natin. Number. Pag lumamang ka ng aura difference, uh, A94 difference, alam na. Alam mo na. Alam mo na. Oh. Opo. It's Lista the Oppo na. difference. Ibig sabihin lang nun eh, nadala ng Oppo ang laro. Pero mukhang babalik na nga tayo dito sa land of dawn kung saan 10 to 2 ang kill score natin dito. Hindi ako nabulong. 10 to 2 talaga. To two. 8 kills ang lamang ng Aura PH sa Bren Esports. 7 minutes. mag 8 minutes inside this game. Gigil. Ito yung gigil na Aura. Pag, ano eh, pag binigyan mo sa lineup na kayang gumalaw sa early game, Gagalaw at gagalaw sila ng maganda and kita natin to right now. Oh, JP, lasting. great ejector. Yeah, flicker. Searing torrent won't save it pero mapapatay dito si Rafaela. Carl Tizzy might be next. That's the Brody dealing so much damage pero kung damage lang ang usapan nandito ang ating mo Lord Aedes with a double kill. Tagtaga mo pa. Might be another kill. JP to low HP. Hindi papasok dito si Ribo pero may papasok sa likod na Lunox going in with the Chaos Ultimate. Grabe ang damage nito tong Rebo. Kaya mo bang mang 4v1? Nakita natin to eh. Na-review. Napanood natin to eh. There you go with the dive in. Except this time around, wala palang backup. So, it was difficult for Rebo to stay alive. At ngayon, ito na. Yung scaling na sinabi ko for that Granger, halatang halata na ngayon. Oh. Ilang minutes yung Raptors machete niya? Mga 3 minutes? Four Masyadong minutes. maaga. Masyadong maaga talaga. <laughs> and, Yung penetration na galing sa item na yun, scales over to tower damage, masakit yung normal attacks mo. Skill damage, masakit yung mga Rhapsody and Death Sonata mo. And critical hits from the last, from the passive, masakit talaga. So, from here, may konting, may ano naman eh, may, may konting cap, kumbaga, may konting cap yung itemization ng Granger. Kailangan mahanap ng Bren Esports yung abilidad para mapigilan o mapabagal itong larong to kasi pag kagat sila ng kagat 
sa laban na gusto ng Aura, dun sila malugi. Yeah, and they are playing to the tempo of Aura PH right now. And speaking of tempo, dito natin may kita ang sakit ng Rhapsody ng Granger natin. We talked about the Granger danger and this mm. is it. The damage is real coming in from the Granger and Lord Hades seems to be in a different form. From diba? him, from himself, from game one. Medyo malayo, ang oh. laki ng gap. And again, maybe it's because of the heroes talaga, no? Uh -huh. Yung ibibigay mo sa akin ng heroes is yung mag utilize sa prowess talaga, sa skill cap na meron itong si Lord Hades. Hindi natin nakita ng game one, pero right now on game two, damang-dama mo, and the rest of the team can actually keep up. JP, ang galing din talaga niya mag-support at this point. Uh, unbelievable din yung control na pinapakita ni Greed. Uh -huh. So the rest of Aura is just holding, is just steady. Hindi sila masyado maasim, they're not overcommitting, and they're choosing their fights carefully. Yun ang tama nilang gawin. Yeah, and I have to agree, yung positioning din nila ay napakaganda. Let's look at the KDAs of Aura PH right now. 705 for Lord Hades, wala rin deaths kay Benny Cutie. And for JP and the gang, tiging isang deaths lang. Ibig sabihin, well spread out din. Kumbaga, napipitas lang dahil sa trade kill, pero hindi na mamatay ng walang rason. Yep. This is very important to take note dahil kung mamamatay ka man din lang sa laro, make sure may pinaglaban ka. Yep. Make sure may rason. Actually, I think yung balance is nahuli din ni Kilua siya. I think yung offlane na ginawa ni Kilua yung side lanes, Napakahirap din tapatan which is the reason why sobrang free roam siya. Kahit saan siya pupunta ngayon, wala siyang katapat. Halos, kung papansin mo si Kiluwash ngayon sa mapa. And the rest of the team push lang sa kabilang dulo. Yeah, and speaking of pushing though, three lanes are getting pushed by Aura PH here. Top lane is already getting pushed quite heavily. There are four people in the mid lane and the Lord. Saktong trabaho lang dito sa bottom lane natin. And that's already one third destroyed. Tuloy-tuloy na to. This is the classic three lane push from Aura PH. Black PZ to dumudugo bigla and forces out the Inspire to just run away back to the third. Yep, and again, the Lord is going on the turret. Hindi na nilang pipigilan. Turret will go down. Uh, Top lane, busy din si Kiluwash mag-isa. Almost takes down the inhibitor turret doon sa taas. Yeah, and this is a very busy map for Bren Esports. Kailangan nilang makalculate kung saan ba dapat mag-invest ng mga members. That's a mega kill for wow. the Lunox. Napakagandang eject na nanggaling dito kay JP. JP. At mukhang Tori muna unahin nila dito. Another flicker in. The damage is just too real. Last is next. Order of Brilliance from Benny QT. He just goes insane and looks like the base is next. But Rebo wants to stop it. Rebo will not stop it. That's game two going to Aura PH. We have a game three, ladies and gentlemen.